Gurkhas from the 69 Field Squadron in Maidstone have been called in to help English Heritage relocate an exhibit. My right or your right? They're here at Dover Castle, dismantling this replica of the 1216 trebuchet and moving it outside the castle wall, piece by piece. The only problem is, when it comes to reassembling it, unlike a flat pack kit, this medieval weapon has no instructions. I think it's, it's not a screw on, that's the, that's the you know, we've we got a problem. That's our best. So it's all very well dismantling it, but you're thinking how you're going to put it back together. Yeah. And first thing, how, how are you going to unscrew it? How are you, are you going to dismantle it? And later on, how will you fix it? That's, 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 the, that's, the, things, that's, the, that's the problem we're having at the moment. We went out and asked a few um, civilian firms, actually, well, can you do what we ask? Can you take this to pieces, um, move it through a very, very narrow archway here and then rebuild it again. And they said, well, we can, no problems at all for the actual hacking it to pieces, but we can't guarantee we'll be able to put it back together again. So we actually talked to the deputy constable, um, Brigadier Ian James, who's actually based here at the castle and said, well, do you know anyone that could help with this? And he recommended the uh, local Gurkha Engineer Squadron, 69 uh, Squadron, and said this would be actually a fantastic training experience for them, a training uh, drill. The nine metre high catapult has sat next to the Great Tower for 12 years. Exposed to the elements and the high winds that whip around inside the keep, the salty air has caused some problems for the soldiers. The boys are going well and the tax is going well so far, but uh, at the moment we are just facing a little bit of a problem with uh, some of the knots and bolts are quite frosty, so it's just uh, taking a little bit more time, so I think that will do it. This is a replica of a, of a catapult from, from 1216. What, what do you think your boys might learn from deconstructing and reconstructing this, this old piece of equipment? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, from this one we have got two types of advantage. Um, uh, first of all, it is uh, combat engineering training for the boys, uh, which uh, normally is very hard to get these sort of uh, uh, talks uh, whilst we are in the camp. And uh, it is a training for the boys. Uh, one way, it is a big advantage for the MOD as well, uh, because uh, heavy training does involve on this one, combat engineering especially. And some trades like uh, carpenters, uh, carpentry trades does involve on this one. It is a bit of trade training and the combat engineering training for the boys as well. Although it was built as a working replica, the catapult's never actually been fired. This particular um, piece that you can see behind me had, you, you would have loaded counterweights in the, the bucket that the Gurkhas are currently standing in at the moment. That bucket would have then been pulled down, attached. There would have been a, some kind of cup at the, the long arm that we can see behind us as well. And then once that heavy weighted bucket was released, the, um, it would have swung and, and fired these huge pieces of rock against the castles. Where it's located at the moment, in some ways, it's dwarfed by the tower. I think when we move it outside and we put it up against buildings that are a lot lower, people will really realise how big these pieces of machinery were and also how sturdy they were. It's hoped it will take two weeks to reassemble the catapult in its new location, to be admired by Dover Castle's visitors once more. <laughs>